Hey guys, before this video begins, I just want to mention that it is a shorter episode today. Um, this isn't going to be a full episode here in the Studio Park build, as it doesn't really warrant that. Um, but this is just a little episode, just so we've got some content coming from the Studios pack. Um, I'll have more time to record properly over the next couple of days, so please accept my apologies for this shorter episode, but some full meaty ones will be back very soon. Enjoy the video, guys. Hello guys, welcome back to Pause and welcome back to Planet Coaster and Clapboard Studios. So today we're doing another scene in the Back to the Future Dark Ride and we are going to work on a train scene from Back to the Future 3. Um, I'm also doing a little bit more tweaking on the launch, added some new music uh, and also a little bit of music dotted around the ride. So here's a very quick time lapse, putting a few bits together and I'll be back at the end to show you some live footage of how it all looks. <laughs>
Okay, so the first thing that we've done um, is added the uh, a little bit of music now to the launch. So let me just trigger it, and this is exactly how it sounds now. There we go. So we've got the um, actual theme from Back to the Future um, in there now. Uh, again, I maybe get copyright strike for this video. I don't care. I want the music in there. It's a brilliant piece of music, and I want it in the park. Uh, now, well, let's head over to the train scene. Okay, so here we are in the next scene of the ride. So this comes from the um, clock sequence, straight down here. And as you come around this corner, you are triggered. Uh, ooh, it triggers this screen just here. Um, let's make sure I've got the ride on so I can uh, show you guys. Yeah, it's on. So as you come down into this section, this screen triggers, showing clips from Back to the Future 3. Um, you got the loop, another screen triggers on the, on the roof here, which gives you a kind of POV of a train. And then over the other side, we've got an actual physical train set. So, um, let's have a look at when it comes down. Okay, so here it comes, and this is how this sequence looks. So that screen triggers. The next screen triggers, um, so as you're whizzing past, you don't really notice much. Music comes on, and then down here we have the big train scene. So we're using um, the locomotive from the studio's pack, a little bit of fire, um, some billboards of just movie stills from this kind of scene. Um, they don't really work exactly, but from a first glance it kind of fits. And then over this wall over here, there is another... Um, uh, there is another billboard that shows the train crashing scene. Um, so altogether, this is how it looks from on ride.
So there we go. A very quick scene as it whizzes through. But that's generally the idea of this ride. So the billboards reset. The train carries on flashing around. And that is pretty much our train scene complete. So if we jump into daylight, you can see there's not much detail, but there's enough here to to make the scene work. So like I say, we're using these backboards just there to give a scenery element to the ride. A little bit of rock and a little bit of physical um, tree just to break up between the billboard and the actual scenery. Um, and a couple of speakers to play the music. As before, we're using a lot of these black scrims to block the view from all the scenes. And that's a, a theme that we're keeping going through this ride. Um, as we continue on, this Back to the Future build. So from this glance, it kind of looks a bit of a mess. But once we finish off this ride, cap it all off, it's going to work. Trust me. Trust me. So let's jump back into the station scene. There we go. Um, jump back into the start of the ride and let's just sum up what we've done today so a new scene is in it's the Back to the Future 3 train scene, we've added some new music um, so yeah we're getting there now guys, if you've got any more suggestions for this ride, drop them down below if you've got any ideas for uh, other scenes we can do, because remember the end scene of the ride is going to utilise the clock tower facade so if you've got any ideas of how exactly we can uh, end the ride in here please let me know um, as I'm still open to suggestions so it's very much a work in progress but thank you for watching so far guys uh, if you haven't uh, done so already please subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our videos if you've enjoyed the video drop us a like down below and as always any questions queries comments or suggestions please feel free to ask those down below as well and I'll try and answer every single one thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video bye